All right, this is a little more of a uh, public announcement regarding the 2024 election. Um, the way I'm going to be doing polling analysis is a little different than how the most do it. So for an example, you see a lot of polling that would only introduce, let's say here, you have Biden against Trump, right? There's a little problem with this because there are more candidates than just the two of them. For an example, you have Kennedy, which you also need to take into account. However, you need to take into account in which states he has access. And that is something that will happen later down the line when we find it out. So, at the moment, when it comes to ballot access, we have the Democrats, of course, Republicans, naturally. Kennedy has access in some states, but not enough to outright win 270, nor sabotage one of the two candidates from reaching 270. So that's not happening. Cornell West has access in some states. The Libertarians have access in about 30 states, I believe. And the Greens have access in another 30-ish states. Which, needs to which you need to take into account, because as you see here with polling, any poll that is worth its weight in salt or manure needs to have all candidates on the ballot. Simple as. It needs to accurately reflect the ballot itself. So, uh, no. A little too far. So, what does this mean? Some states like American Solidarity Party, the Prohibition Party, and the, uh, the commies at the Party for Socialism, they have ballot access. And in some cases, they need to be taken into account in the polling. Now, Green Party nominates a candidate, the Libertarians nominate one, and potentially no labels. And you also need to take into account these two independents. Now, when it comes to ballot access, I don't think we have enough for this and the final um, round of accessibility is going to be determined later down in life or later down in the cycle here so that would be about July maybe August when we finally know which parties will be available on the ballot so keep in mind at the moment I can't really do much with this but I am intending to keep every single one of these parties in the aggregate in my personal aggregate of course so that would make sure that um, at least accuracy will be taken into account now let's go to 2020 and I want to make sure that this works really fine so we have Ballot access for about 10 parties, sorry, 9. So you have Democrats, Republican, Libertarians, Green, the PSL, you have Constitution, you have American Solidarity, and a bunch of smaller ones. So what you need to take into account, and let's say go to a state, let's go for Michigan. Now, the, the polling here has four or four parties Republicans Democrats libertarians and greens however if you scroll down you see we got where's the fucking table this is how the ballot actually looked Democrats Republicans libertarians greens Constitution natural law which simply means any poll that doesn't have these six parties actively listed in the poll and these one only have four and let's say here it says someone else with two percent now this is ridiculous right so it's always someone else and that's a problem because you need to have every single one of these candidates taken into account now does this do anything for the aggregate not really Simply put, many of these third parties end up at a single percentage point. 
However, that does matter for the total aggregate. Because if you take away the Libertarian Party, for an example, you put here at two points, and they take away two points for the Republicans, guess what? The aggregate value for the Republicans drops by about a point. You need to take that into account. So that is something that you really need to take care of. It's called being accurate, and this is something that many polling agencies are refusing to do. So the problem here is, every single one of these polls say the two binary options, so Democrat or Republican, and then they say someone else. Well, any pollster that does this is creating a picture that is disingenuous, I would say. So the only pollster that does this, the way I envision polling to, that should be done, is um, Richard Barris, because he creates polls that are accurate regarding the ballot. So any poll should have just that. You take the ballot and then you ask the question, who do you vote for of these ones? Or you say, I don't know. And in which case, then you have the leaners, which would be, okay, in which direction do you lean? You can make that as a poll. So I'm hoping that, um, and for an example, in 2016, yeah, this as the ballot, Republicans, Democrats, Libertarians, Green, this is a constitution. U.S. taxpayers became the Constitution Party. Independent, and then natural law. So there you go. This is the ballot, so any poll that doesn't have this ballot is a wrong poll. Literally. So, I hope that clears up the issue. And my complaints regarding the polling um, industry. Ah, uh, yeah. So, thank you kindly for watching. Like the video if you did, you know all that good stuff. Cheers.